Hi, good morning. Um, just another video on uh, uh, muscle tension and dysphonia. I had um, just got off the phone with talking with my mom and um, I always get really uh, more tense when I speak with her, just being completely honest the way things are lately. And uh, I notice, yeah, it's definitely um, a lot of stress uh, <clears throat> that happens when I'm uh, trying to speak and just, you know, something really just uh, tightens up. And uh, I need to figure out a way to relax it a little bit more, but I'll do a little bit of the uh, straw method in a second. But what I wanted to talk about was uh, hydration and um, things that sort of really trigger it even more. I'm also drinking some uh, tea as well in the car like I got water and uh, tea with me right now and uh, for sure it's uh, definitely ca caffeine like co coffee has been a really big uh, problem for me but uh, the other one is uh, alcohol so I, I don't really drink too many things like juice and stuff like that in general but like uh, beer uh, coffee, like, yeah, beer especially, like, really just kills me, so what I'm doing now is, like, I'm gonna stop drinking, like, any alcohol, hold on, <clears throat> and, um, <laughs> let's see if I can, uh, get it back, uh, you can breathe in, and sort of relax a little bit, and, uh, that might be better. So, yeah, it's like um, a really uh, a tricky thing to like get your uh, your uh, neck to chill out <laughs> once in a while. It's like, why are you doing that? So, one thing you can try doing is maybe talking in a different voice and seeing how that helps you a little bit. It does help to sort of relieve the stress for a second but again you want to like try and you know uh, talk in your normal tone what I also try to do is uh, talk from my my chest so you're sort of uh, pushing it out from in here but um, anyways I'm going on a tangent so yeah going back to uh, hydration drink lots of water for sure on a daily basis just to uh, keep things, you know, soft in here. I did have a lot of um, uh, congestion earlier, but then I would have dryness, which I still have, and then uh, the tightness as well at the same time. So it's kind of rough <laughs> to, <laughs> to offer all of it all at once. Uh, but yeah, I, I found that uh, I got water, but you know what? There was another thing I was having that uh, really helped was um, aloe vera juice or aloe juice, aloe juice. I always say, aloe, yeah, aloe vera juice. I, I get like, you can get concentrated aloe vera juice, um, but I, I buy some of the cheap stuff from the dollar store. It's like from uh, Dollarama. It's, um, you know, like a couple of bucks, and that has like little chunks, little chunks of aloe in it, and like just a little bit of the sugar is pretty okay, tastes good, and that always seems to um, uh, relieve some stress, and just, or not stress, but uh, uh, soothing, like in here, like again, like it's not really sore, but it is becoming sore because I'm talking so tight right now, and it's a little ridiculous, but um, let me um, see if I can relieve some of that by saying good morning, first of all. Um, so I'll say good morning right now. <clears throat> you know, the other thing too, like, I have a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, mucus or congestion in here as well. So let's see what happens when I say good morning. But like the idea is like to get my 
the vocal cords vibrate. Like as I'm saying good morning, so you want to feel it right in here when you're doing it. And like this just helps to have like the air push out through the bottom of the straw. So let's try. Good morning. How are you today? It's pretty good. A little itchy. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> God, I'm sorry about that. Let's try it as go as um, a little deeper. Hold on. So I did that as long as I could, but um, it does help a little bit. So, you know, uh, try practicing that and saying good morning through a straw. Like, like you can even like just hum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That also helps pretty good, but try what you want and uh, let me know what do you think.